uh, to another session of practical photography for Spire U3A. <clears throat> um, we have a number of people not coming today, such as Elaine, and it looks like Diana's not coming because of a eye problem, but she has sent me some work, so that's all right, I suppose. Um, so, uh, last time I asked you for a very difficult topic called falling. And I know that, um, I know Stan has done something, and I know that uh, uh, Diana's done something, but I've no idea whether anybody else has done anything yet. So I think I should... you probably did, as I told you, but that's another story. Oh, I've forgotten that, Stan, I'm really Richard. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Does anyone want me to show, show me their work, shall we say? It will. We will do, if you so wish. You want to go first, Roger? Okay. Going <clears throat> to share screen. You're getting a, the hang of this now, aren't you? So. <laughs> sort of, anyway. Right, these are mine, first of all. Okay. And these, are, I've got three falling pictures as requested, and two others as requested, okay? The total okay. of five, okay? So Very that, good. that is the first falling one. That was in motion, of course, yes. And that, that, it, it, that it was actually taken, um, yeah, quite, quite close to Waitrose. Go to Waitrose, if to turn right or left to town, turn left, and it's, I forget the name of the road. But, as you've gone, you're, you're going on your way towards um, Old Sarum sort of direction. Mm. Okay. Right? Yeah, nice shot. Nice, nice, shot. Shot. Uh, nice shot, nice shot, Roger. Okay, yes, that's very really good, yes. Uh, hmm. Last thinking, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. It is, as you can see, a barometer, a barometer to superimpose <clears throat> on a picture I took out of the window with the rain pouring down. Okay. Yes. And that is very you should be able to see that the barometer is falling or has, yes, is falling. <laughs> yeah. I see you've got border as well. Can't hear. Hmm? Pardon? Couldn't hear you, Peter. Uh, you have a special border as well. Peter, you've got very quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, uh, don't blame me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're the only person who's quiet, so it must be you. <laughs> <laughs> Which test speaks so well? Uh, what can I do about it? <coughs> yeah, that won't help. You're talking to yourself at the moment, Peter. Am I? Oh, well, yeah. You're very good. <laughs> because we can't hear. Well, I'm I'm not muted. Um, no, you're definitely not muted. <laughs> Carry on. Well, let's have a look at the next one, Richard. Okay. Roger. Right. This was taken at Fisherdon Mill. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And um, I suppose the reason I didn't put in more of the waterfall, which you might say is the actual falling bit, is because I quite like the the sort of foam of the of the water leading up to that. So that was the reason for that. But what speed did you use, Roger? Um, I can't tell you. Hang on a minute. I should be able to tell. I should be able to tell with that. No, I can't do it. I couldn't tell you. So you're on the right hand side. Uh, yeah, but you got the. Yeah, but I got. I got the. Uh, hang on a minute. Because you're over on the right hand side, it should show you there. You should yeah. see it now. Uh, Eight hundred, Stan. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's my three falling, all right. And two others, you said. And this is a little friend I've had with me for about three weeks in the garden. Each time I come out to do some gardening, this little chap or lady, I don't know how to tell the difference and follows me around and has got a very tame now, almost sort of sits on my foot. I take lots of pictures of it. This is one of the first ones. That I took and I, and, and I just put in that. Well, it, it was a natural frame, if you like, with the the, the trellis. Okay. Very good. Like that. Nice bit of catch light in the eye. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a subject I take very often, uh, animals or, or birds, but um, 
it seems a good opportunity to miss. And lastly, my second one, this was a panoramic taken at uh, Gilbert's, the um, Dahlia Specialists at uh, Sherford English. I, 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 took, I took this, just, I mean, this was taken just over a week ago and I took it in um, panoramic format just to try and give some impression of the, the vastness of all the dahlias and so on. I don't know if that's the right word, but anyway. Whether that does or not, I don't know. But anyway, I thought it was quite nice. Quite a nice picture. I, took, I didn't take it by taking separate little pictures. I took it with just bit, using the, the, panoramic, the panoramic setting on the camera where you just move it around. Yeah. yeah. That's worked very well. Yeah. Um, Peter, you're still quiet. You are. Something's anyway. happened your end, Peter. Has it really? What? Well, you're there when... Nothing's happened. I haven't done a thing. <laughs> I'll unplug my camera. See what... I'll just wait and then come back and ask, well, what's, what's the way do you want to switch on to Elizabeth? Can you see him? See him, yeah. Oh, it's all right, yeah. We can hear him faintly. Can you hear me now, by any chance? Oh, no, no, I mean, you are there, but you've got no picture now. Oh, no, well, that won't start now. There you go. <laughs> One thing is another. You have to do without my, my face at the moment. Yes, OK. Who, who, <coughs> whose picture is this? This is Elizabeth's. Oh, right. <laughs> Thank you. I, you may say it's they've fallen, but it was just one thing I thought I could do with yeah, apples on the tree and on the floor. Yep, OK. You know what you should have done, Elizabeth? Oh, what's uh, that? It, it, it's a lovely picture. Get Roger to have hold two or three apples and throw them into the picture so that they'd be dropping. Yeah. Caught the mid-air, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I think actually it does demonstrate apples falling, doesn't it? Because oh, yeah, absolutely. On the ground. In that sense, I think. Oh, <clears throat> pass it. Go and you got, the, you got the trunk of the tree on the thirds as well. Yeah. She was struggling. She was struggling with high contrast. Yes. With you know just above the halfway line, to, to I mean you know which was quite bright to the second half was quite quite dark. Okay, moving on. But the shadows and highlights um, system works quite yeah. well. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's certainly a fallen tree. That's, yeah. That's on the um, okay. the broken bridges. Right. So it was a tree just hanging midair against things. Yes. <clears throat> right. Oh. I, I found a tree similar to that in Twiney's wood. Twiney's firs, I mean. Near near uh, Lova. Okay. Right. Okay, moving along. <laughs> Third <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. Nothing. I, well, I took this in the garden centre at Wilton and uh, I just sort of showed the water running, running down and falling down. Yep, yep. It's, it's a water feature over by the, uh, the fish area. Mm. Um, okay. Okay. Very good. Moving pictures. along to two other pictures. Not right. four. Mm -hmm. Oh. A black circle. This is um, uh, if you go down by Robert Dias and turn right at the bottom of the card shop, there's a little coffee shop there. And we were sat having coffee over the other side, and that looked quite uh, colourful to me at the time. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, like it. There. Is that a bird? Um, to the right of the right hand seat on the. Yes, it looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, it is actually. Yeah. Yeah. Probably my robins following me around. <laughs> <laughs> right, and finally. That's one of the dailies when we went to Gilbert's. It's one of, one of many, wasn't it? One of many, yes. Yeah. One of millions, almost. Mm. Mm. Like it. Mm. Yes. Okay. A nice out yeah. of focus. Yeah, thank you, Roger. Nice out of focus background. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, okay. That's yeah. it. That's Good. our lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No stop sharing. Thank you. I can see you now. Yes. Peter, shall I try and get in? Yes, oh yes, um, yes, um, I've, I've, I've So I'm on my main computer. Um, yes. Remember we discussed this yesterday evening. Yes. So I go to uh, share screen. Okay. Oh, there it is. Coming. Oops, oh, yes, there we go. Oh, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I assume that's called the pilot. Mm -hmm. well, this is a series of three pictures that tell the story. Um, the, the story is that there's um, in, in Oakham every year, or rather in Oakham and Mountain Mowbray. There's a cycle race that, which lasts most of the day. And every year we go to this viewpoint, which is at the top of this hill. Um, and these guys are not in the race, but they, they turned up. And I was talking to them and I said, um, what about going to the bottom of the hill and racing up? And I'll take some photographs. I said, yeah, fine. So they went to the bottom of the hill and started to race up. And something broke on this chap's bike. So you see, he's starting to fall. Mm -hmm. That's the first picture. Cursing mm -hmm. you at the same time, I suspect, Stan. Pardon? Are you cursing you at the same time, I suspect? Uh, yes. This shows that uh, he's actually fallen. Oh. Mm -hmm. It looks a bit painful. Uh, I can't really see where his head is there, Stan, can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then they came to the top of the hill and... Uh, Oh, I can see her, yeah. Oh, I can see his yeah. head yeah. 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 The next picture I took, that's the result of the fall. Oh. Mm. Feel raw. <laughs> so that's take him to do something athletic. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Very well composed, Stan. Mm. Yeah, it works, works well. Yeah. Well, well that's nice. the expressions of the guy on the left-hand side. Yes, smiling away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then in the next one as well. That's right. I two def two oh, definitely. Smiling, yeah. That's right. Hmm. He's laughing, he's isn't he? One with the red helmet as well. Yeah. You can see he's, he's put in some pressure in to get up that hill. Yeah. That's the one I like, where the two hands look like the two heads of the people behind. Yeah. See, yes. He's lucky he didn't put his uh, right arm out, otherwise he'd have had a broken collarbone. Yeah, he, yeah that's right. Mm -hmm. He certainly went down with a smack. He did quite well to come off so lightly, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, they didn't blame me. No. Mm. Of them. <laughs> what broke? Do you know? It's wrong. No, no, I, I think it was something to do with the gear. I was going to say, it doesn't look as there's a chain running all the cogs, all right? No, yeah. yeah. Could have slipped. Yeah. Uh, okay, lovely. Thank you. Ask the same question, Stan. What was your shutter speed for that? Uh, He's in bridge. You ought to be able to find out, shouldn't he? <coughs> <laughs> Don't worry if, it, if it's not at all.
hopefully we'll see it. 500. 500. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 500. Yeah, and that's taken with my uh, 100, 400 uh, lens. Yeah. I would, I would normally use a, a faster shutter speed, actually. But uh, as they were coming towards me and not going past, I, it wasn't so necessarily necessary. But it's, it's captured it anyway. Nice to have some red on your last picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And presumably you had focus tracking on there as they were coming towards you. Yes, I was. And he was quite happy for me to take the photograph of, of his bleeding leg. Okay. Yeah. And about a quarter of an hour later, the um, the main race come up there. Yeah, good. That's my lot. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Next um, contributor. I think I've only got four, Peter. Do you want those now? Okay, okay, yes, indeed, Richard. Oh, I can find them. Which fast time here I haven't you got it open, I asked. <coughs> I thought it was open. That's why I'm asking where it is, I wonder. Oh, there it is. It shouldn't be there. It should be in on the desktop. It should be those there. Got it. Okay. I think you can call that to checking it down or doing something down. <laughs> yes, yeah, certainly is. But wet falling. <laughs> Where was that, Stan? Um, uh, Richard? Outside my window. <clears throat> Window, yes. That was, that was a little bit later. I'm sure it ceased slightly, if that's the word for it. Mm. It's quite interesting how the um, water bounced off that man's hat or head. <laughs> I bet he was delighted with that. Yeah, indeed. And then, of course, the country's just taking the slots of water they were trying to drop off the windowsill. <laughs> But I couldn't get them sharp. Nothing I wanted to do would make them sharp. It, uh, I went in the manual focus, pre-focus, you name it, and it still slightly refused to have anything sharp about it. So I don't know why, but there you go, these things happen. The I think it's because I don't know how to use my camera, but I shouldn't say that, should I? I think the drops are pretty sharp, Richard, aren't they? The drop, <laughs> the droplets. More or less, but not as sharp as I was hoping. But, but given that the light is shining through them, it's surely it's, and they're you know they're microns thick at the, at the very edges. Well, so it's, it's, it's almost impossible to get it. Yes, sharp and no on the edges that. of the drops. Because when I was holding the camera up and moving it backwards and forwards, they came into perfect focus. Yeah. So I couldn't actually press the button at the right time. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, right. So I then actually went on to the. Bit where you can actually take the picture on the sh on the screen, mm. and that didn't work either. So I gave up in the end. Yeah. Mm. That is even worse, as you can see. But it's very impressionistic. It's very nice. Oh yes, I hadn't thought of that. Yes, very good. Thank you for that. Uh, Think positively. <laughs> and of course, this is definitely coming down. Oh. And I did got old serum especially so that nobody could complain they weren't taken in the last month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Well, pointed things. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. What did you say, Peter? Point the cones that, that were on the ground. There were two cones on the ground. Yeah. Well, I just wonder what they were. They are literally plastic cones that so they try and land between. Right. Okay. What do you call I think it depends a great deal on who's coming down on the parachute. Of course, the other interesting thing is it was sunny. And I couldn't see where the parachutes were coming from. All of a sudden, you find one almost landed on your head. Yeah, where was that then? Normal place, up at Old Sarah. Oh, 
I thought they stopped doing things there. No, 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 it's normal. Okay. No, the only thing they stopped was a private aircraft. I see. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the cafes are all open and all the rest of it. Right. And the museum. And the museum, yes. As you can see, they were coming down faster than I could take pictures of them, but that's another story. I think that's a... Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's very good. I like that one. Yeah, that's well captured, Richard. Yeah, the trouble is, it was a question... I mean, the sun was in exactly the same position all the time. It was a question of where they were relative to the sun, relative to the sky. Perhaps, perhaps you should have uh, gone up and been strapped onto one of those uh, skydivers and you could have taken it falling down yourself. Well, it's funny you should say that because a month ago, my sister had one of the parachutes drop on a roof. <laughs> and they went, the, the police found it first and said, do you know you've got a parachute on the roof? And she said, no, but I did hear an enormous bang. Anyway, they came from the parachute base and came down and picked it up. And he said, well, that was the main shoot, actually. How did he fly the emergency shoot? Because the main one didn't open properly. <laughs> oh. The others have got a, a bland sky, uh, Richard. This is nice and blue, isn't it? Yes, indeed. But you see, I don't know why. You see, that's, that's all the same sky. You wouldn't think so, would you? It's all according to where the sun is relative to the, um, yeah. the blue bit, I suppose. I think was that was over my head rather than looking forward, if that makes sense. Excellent. Very I think good. that's the last one, if I remember rightly. Uh, yep, seven of seven, it says. Well, thank you very much indeed, Richard. They were very nice, particularly the, the skydivers, or whatever you call them. They I wish cool. you could get your same working properly, Peter. It's most annoying. Oh, well, I could put my other headphone thing in, see if that works. <laughs> Can I have a go, Peter? Yes, of course. Far it away. follows on from uh, uh, Richard. Can I see if I can show you this one? Because I've got it on my phone. I never take photographs on my phone. Can you see? Yep. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And it's got the, a falling skeleton at the top. Mm. But I've, I've not found out how to transfer it to my computer, but I thought you might like to see it. That's down on the Guildhall in Salisbury. Well, well I've got one of those pictures as well, Anne. Yeah, okay. Well, yours is probably better, as you'll find that Richard's are much better than mine. What, so, what phone is it, uh, Anne? Uh, Samsung. We just plug the lead in the bottom of it where you charge it and plug yep. that into your computer. I've done that, but I can't find it what I've transferred. No, you should you should look for pictures on the yeah. Samsung phone. Well, I'm, then you'll I'm, see it there, and then you can say coffee, and then place it wherever you want. Well, I'll, I'll have another go at it, but I couldn't I couldn't work it out. Anyway, I'll share my <laughs> view that I have got. Right, yeah. The Cheers. other way is to email the picture to yourself. Ah, I've never or, thought of that. Or, or use you. blue. Or use Bluetooth. That's how I send them from my phone. I I don't know what Bluetooth is. Huh. Anyway, here's my few. Right. Can you hear That's me a... now? Yes, Lord. I can. Yes. Thank and you indeed. very much. Welcome back, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Stan. <laughs> well, that's um, obviously falling water oh. up in Cumbria a couple oh. of weeks ago. Oh, very recent, yes. Yeah, which I quite like that one. Now, here's my effort at these. Yeah. I've got three, and none of them are, are anywhere near as good as... Um, Richard, so I'll just pass over them. I, mm -hmm. I wanted to know which would be better as, as a photograph. So there's that one, there's that one, and there's that one. That one. That one. Okay. You've got nice puffy clouds in yours. Um, I some of the didn't have that. Yeah, so I was up there, obviously the same place, um, obviously on a different day. But it's good. Yeah, there's, there were loads going on, and I took loads and loads of photographs and I couldn't what, get any, any and what, what, and what lens were you using? I'm just using automatic. I don't yeah, do but, any... Yeah, but what, what lens on the camera were what you using? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea. If you move your cursor to the <coughs> right hand side of your screen, uh, since you're in Fast Stone Viewer, it will tell you. 
It does. It's not. Just the move the to the right. I've gone to the right and it's. No, you it. haven't. Go further oh, to the right. Not far enough. I can keep going to the right. There That's you it. are. Right there you go. One now, all your, all your, all my, all your faces are <laughs> right at the top of it. it. Doesn't matter at the moment. Just so Stan can mm -hmm. read all that. So it's nine millimeters as the focal length, or something. Thirty-five meter. So it's the fifty-three. Well, it could be somewhere between the two, I suppose. 35 millimeters. It's equivalent, equivalent, it's equivalent to 53. Right, I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, the trouble is, it's a zoom lens, so she's got it adjusted to 9 mil. Yes, yes, right. Anyway, it's a 640th of a second. So, yeah, very good. F4.1. Well, there you okay. are. That's all you need. Move your cursor back. Right. And the next one, that's. Um, a, Oh yes. I know it's not perfect, but it's Icarus. Yeah. Obviously, too near the yes. sun, and he's falling down. And I yes. quite liked it because the 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 light just came in across there. The, right. yep. the just the sun. I but see, it yeah. isn't. But it's not. It's not particularly um uh what's the word uh, sharp. But I thought it was a nice one for for a falling. Yeah, I like the shadow behind it as well. Yeah, so I, I quite like that one. Um, I think it would be slightly improved if uh, you cropped out those white patches at the bottom. Uh, I think they're a bit of a distraction. Yeah. I, okay, I did, did crop out a little bit, but I obviously could have done it more, so. Yeah, okay. okay. And that's, again, the same place, and that's oh. the bird falling down. Yeah. Um, oh, and that's another water one, much closer. Those three were all taken at the same place. Mm. I like that. Mm. And mm. I think that's it. Very good. And oh, that's... no, that's fallen fruit. Oh, oh right. good. Again, at the same place. It's, they're not actually falling, but I thought that's a nice mm. photograph, too. Mm. Okay. Okay. Whereabouts is all that? It's at um, a sculpture on the lakes down by uh, Dorchester. Oh. Really yes. interesting place. They've got about 100 sculptures all, all around the lakes. What, what would have made this picture, and is to yep. have cropped it, is to have cropped it. From where? From, from the top to the really? top. Of, absolutely. Take, take all of the, um, the light, the, the sky out. Absolutely. Right down, mm. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll have a go at that then. Make, make it a letterbox. You click, uh, um, Anne, before you go any further, click on the letter X in your keyboard and you go to the crop tool. Letter X? X, yes. Crop board and? And then you put your cursor over uh, uh, below the half, uh, above, yes, above the yeah. half of where the hedge is and then just yeah. drag it across. Ooh, oh, it's a bit to uh, hang on. I've got started to no, oh, hang on. Oh, <laughs> well, start at the side. Yeah, start at the side. Exactly that. Yeah, then go just diagonally go down to the bottom, down to the bottom now. That's it. And now, what do we, and then, then, then bring the cursor down to the bottom of the picture. Yeah, and click the word crop. Well, that goes over to the right. Yeah, well, you haven't actually you haven't brought the cursor down. Oh, uh, you see, gone. you did a very slight, very small cur. <laughs> ah. Now go to ah. the bottom. Go to <laughs> Control ah. Z. <laughs> oh, Control Z. Oh, that didn't. Oh, it did work. Yes. Right. Get, press X again. <laughs> press X again. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then you click somewhere on the left or the right and drag it to the bottom corner. Just, well, don't go across, go to the bottom left hand corner. Just what go with to that. The, no doubt. Just, just move your cursor to the bottom left hand corner. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. The trouble <sighs> is, you're, you're taking your finger off the button, off the cursor button. You shouldn't be. Okay. Uh, yes, that's it. Right. Just click on there, go from there to the bottom keep left. Keep your finger on the button. Oh, no, I you're if, I go to, if I go to the bottom left hand corner, it'll go right. right to, Across the picture. Yeah, that's oh, what we're yes. trying to do. We're trying to get rid of the top of the picture. Yes, of course you are. Oh, come on. Stop it. 
Right, just do a diagonal line. You're not doing it still, are you? I'm, I'm doing a... Uh... No, start at the right-hand corner and yeah. start from there and then move that directly to the bottom left corner. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I'm with it, yes. Okay, I'm with it. <sighs> right. Now you can go cross and it will, you'll just see the bit that stands once, I think. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Click the crop, word crop. That's yeah, it. Crop. Yeah, I've done it. That's it. There you are. No, isn't that better? Um, hmm. I don't know. What does everybody else think? So I yeah. quite like this, the, the light coming from the top. The light is a total distraction. Okay. Yes, you want it's better. Yes, the, the, you've got to get your customers to look at the thing you look at, they, you want them to right. see. Okay. You could sharpen this as well using Fast Stone Viewer. Yeah, okay. On, on the left-hand side, it's got yeah. the thing labelled Sharpen. I can't remember what it... Uh, I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, control plus U, if you want to do it that way. It says Sharpen, I can see it from here. You can also clone the label out on the right hand side if you want to. Oh, you've got there, yeah, right. Hang on, what have I got to do now then? I've well, got that. That's different. Oh, yes, well, you've got to, there's a control in the middle there. Yeah. There's a slider with a set amount. You can drag that across to the right. And you should see an effect. You can see the effect on the apple there. You've gone too yeah. far, you see, at the moment. Okay. So slide it back until you. And if you yeah, press mind, Peter, she's only got the middle bit selected anyway. Yeah, well, no, that's the bit we're looking at, yeah. But it, it's, okay, now you can click on hold down to see the original image below the, just above the OK. If you click on that, you'll see the before and the after. Well, I've done that and nothing's happened. Well, you haven't done enough, you haven't done enough on the amount. So move the amount across. Have you got a mouse wheel, by the way? Yeah. Well, you can just just put that your cursor on the on the uh, that bit where you have, and just roll the mouse wheel up and down, and you'll see that the, the numbers will change. Is what I've done up to forty six. There you are. Right now, then let's click the hold down to see the original again. Yes, you can see the difference now. You can let go now with the yeah. Yeah, it's just the one. Just uh, click OK. That'll do. You can see it's a big image, taking a long time. There you are. You are. And you think that's better now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So right. what, what do we do with it now? Save it. <laughs> I you, know, how? Can, if you go up to the top left-hand side, it says save, save as. The top as. There. You can give it a different name if you don't want to lose your original. So you click Save As and just add a letter to the name. Oh, you've got no name anyway. She's got a lot of A's after them, though, so perhaps you don't have to put a B. Yeah. yeah. I'll do. OK. OK, yep. thank you. Thank you. Uh, now I've got to uh, stop share. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank I've you, Anne. I've got a few to show you, Peter. Uh, Yep, for fruit. I just written those down. Oh, who was that we're speaking then? Me. Hey. Oh, hello, Peter. Yes. Hello. Want to see them? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's oh. just fall, fallen leaves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Labels and everything. Oh, very good. <laughs> It would cover autumn colours as well. Yeah. I think he said we weren't allowed to use autumn colours, didn't he? And there's Anne's one. Oh, so yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you, how do you, that's a very clever one, isn't it? Um, yes. So that's a skeleton, I suppose. Yeah. Well, well I suppose it's for Halloween, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, good one. Oh. Where, where was this? Where's this? At the Guild Hall. At the Guild, the Guild Hall, is it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it is. Oh, I see. It says Halloween or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a uh, sort of foliage oh, decoration around the, uh, the entrance. Yeah. Very good. Oh, very well, good. On, on the two columns, you know. Yeah. Yes, yes. What's this blackish thing at the bottom? It's, it's like a pig. 
yeah, yeah, whatever it is, yes. But this, a yeah, I think it looks like a. Is it? that is that because sort of dog? Uh, this time of the year, donkeys years ago, they used to slaughter the pig because they hadn't got any surplus food, and they, you know, put it in brine or ate it or whatever. There's also a dog's head above, immediately above that. Three objects above that. Yeah. No, towards the edge. Really? It, yeah, there. Yeah. There, there's a dog's head there. A what head? It's a dog's head. Oh. <laughs> Could be. The thing that strikes me about that picture is all the, all the squares, all the right angles. You know, the, the steps and the door and the bricks and I don't know, it's just something that, you know, uh, just something that hit me about the picture, just uh, mm. quite um, quite attractive in a way, yeah. A couple well, of I couple of just saw the few leaves down there. Oh, yes. There's a couple of ghosts up right, aren't they, poking out? Yes, up there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, all these pumpkins. But I, I like the colour of the, these... Uh, these flowers here, whatever they are. Yeah. Dried whatnots. Hmm. Oh, very good. Well done, Peter. Thank you very oh. much. That's brilliant. Board, bordered as well. Another one. Another oh. one. Oh, the, I wonder what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's still falling, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 indeed. And uh, bordered and labelled and everything. And there's a fall. That's in the, uh, the Nadder River. That's the tree falling down. Slowly, very slowly, is yeah. That, very is slowly. that Roger's tree or Elizabeth's tree, or is it just a different one? That's a different, 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 yes. I don't know if it's, um, uh, I don't know what I did there. But... Those with your phone, Peter, or with a camera? These are all with my phone, Roger, all with my phone. I, 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 I. Because I, I take it area with me, it's it's easier to uh, just take a photograph of it. Mm -hmm. You seem to know how to do it. <laughs> yes, well, you're. And then that's the uh, my dog resting on my wife's legs, <laughs> just about falling down. <laughs> that's a lovely picture. Slip sliding away, as my wife said. <laughs> oh right, yes, yes. <laughs> Got one beady eye on this, hasn't he? That yeah, dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> and uh, oh, the doom. Oh, very good. You know where that is, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Oh, what yes. This church. Yeah. I thought it was appropriate for falling. Yes, and that was done on the mo on the mobile phone. Amazing. Yeah, and you got your verticals lovely because with the you'd get no on a no normal camera. You get tremendous distortion taking it from ground level to get up to yeah. there. The real sort of curving in. So that's yes. Anyway, I presume you can get into the church at now. You can. Yes, you can get into the church. Yeah, they're even um, gone back to doing their coffees on uh, Saturday. Oh, have they? Right. Okay. And, they, and there's a bookstore there as well over the uh, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. The so, usual thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, no, that's my lot, Peter. Well, that's very good. I'm nothing wrong with that at all. Excellent, in fact. More than I expected, by a long way. So, so who's haven't we had? Uh, I'll David. do some. If okay, I can, David. Thank you, David. Work out how to do it. I'm never the best of these things. I've got to thank show you. I don't let me forget um, to show you Diana's. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get the right thing up. Better, yep. Oh, here we are. File, open, recent, falling. Hooray. And let's get it full screen. Play. There we are. Right. Can you see that, everyone? Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Very nice font that's, there. That's the title. Yes. Bit of bit of typography there. Yes. <laughs> A falling, falling camera. camera. Oh, you dropped the camera. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, not quite. <laughs> but uh, you might think I did. Yeah, we'll think you did, yes. Yeah, it's sort <laughs> of I, ICM, as they... Things. Oh yes, right. In camera, uh, in the intentional camera movement. Yes, that's falling. Yeah. Oh yes, building. What do we call it? Demolition. Oh, the college. Oh yes, you went there. Yeah. Didn't you? Yes, I've got a, quite a few there. That's, Can't call uh, it college demo. I've got to call it college demolition, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, well, right. Yes. Well, that was a different, different purpose. That one. Um, yes, that's very good. I like it. Yeah, it's time All those hours I spent in the art college and didn't exist anymore. No, it's it's flat as can be. Yeah. You know, the site one floor which had no windows in at all, deliberately. Oh, why is that? I don't know if you'd realise that. No. The photographic floor had no no windows. Oh, the new one, yes. No, the old one. The, the old, old one. one. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, they deliberately, well, they used to have dark rooms and everything there, but... The idea was, if you couldn't get any light in the, on that floor, you couldn't overexpose anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. Well, I must have been in there then. Yeah. Almost there certainly, are. I should think. Yeah, there we are. Falling Water. That's a uh, National Trust property near Conway in North Wales. Right, yes. That's, that's a nice, nice, nice angle you've got there, I must yeah. admit. Well, I'm looking straight as a, I'm on a footbridge just above the weir, just like Anne did one, which was not dissimilar, I think. Yes. Um, so that was... Slightly unnerving, that picture. It is, slightly. <laughs> and there's boiling water falling into teapot. Oh. <laughs> 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 the great. Yes. Can't That's very nice. That one. I like the. I like that image. To be frank, I quite like that. The way it works. And there's paint falling off wall. So oh, I see. <laughs> I've got to stretch these things sometimes. <laughs> yes. And I think that's it. Well, I like that. That last one um, is uh, is definitely a, a new, another way of looking at falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in um, Winchester Street. Right. Yes. Okay. Right here, I'll stop the share. Why is my name on the left-hand side each time on that picture? Hmm. My emails to you, I guess. Probably. Yes. All lined up and beautifully organised. All right. Oh, I was about to show you Diana's now, hadn't I? Let me just. Find well, I can show you mine. Well, oh, of course. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten. Yes, right. Okay, I'm far away, I've as they say. As well, Peter. Sorry. Oh, I've Terry. Got some as well. Yeah, he doesn't want us to, to know us, does he, Terry? No. No. <laughs> Where's Terry? Yes. So here's uh, Alan's photographs. Yes. Oh, that's that's not one of them, is it? <laughs> that's your uh, background. <laughs> no. Uh, I need to. The problem I've got is I'm on the iMac and I'm not too sure how to drive it. So I don't know how to rotate this picture. It doesn't seem... You see where your cursor is? Yeah. Just go up a little bit next to the A. Next one along. Left. Yeah, rotate. Okay. Okay. Rotate left. There you are. Yeah, so that's May falling need asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and, and on, on the original picture, um, I have not um, not decapitated her <laughs> partially, so it's uh, I don't know if I. I think you just put your picture. Oh, there you go. Right, so it's either falling asleep or a fallen woman. You can take your choice. <laughs> <laughs> you know best. <laughs> um. Then there is, uh, I close that one. How complicated. It is, yeah. Um, I've got to know how to, uh, uh, no, is it square and rotate? That's falling into decay. Right, okay. Very good. Um, tombs into decay are falling into yeah. Well, that's when we had our um, that's a Brickford. That's when we had that yeah. wall up there. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. I remember going there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Okay, whatever that means. Uh, ah, write the word decay. Uh, fall, falling into line. Oh yeah! Oh, good heavens! Oh, very, very um. Very good. Hmm? Just need to drag it across. Yes. Uh, and then there's falling into shadow. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That one and that one. Um, and, uh, yes, um, we'll allow that. Yes. Yep. Seen that one. The, there were some loose tiles which I thought were could be construed as falling, but I also <laughs> thought that the coloration looked as though there was uh, <laughs> water falling down the tiles. <laughs> <laughs> right okay <laughs> i'm not sure it fits in exactly but anyway well there's a fallen tile there so <laughs> <coughs> yes i see there's one actually just slithering down i can see now yeah you're stretching um, the imagination yeah well you have to do that <laughs> well, um, that was um virginia creeper which it was seemed to be falling down the trees Right. Very good. Yeah, like that. Nice metaphor or whatever. Mm. Yeah. So, what do we think of this as a picture? Sorry. What do you think of it as a picture? It's a bit confusing, I think. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Yes. Probably a bit overcooked. What you need to do is get zoom in a bit more. I think and zoom in on a section. Yeah. There are quite a lot of sections on there. You can make lots yeah, of. I things. mean, that that's probably. Yeah. The bit. Well, yeah. yes, as you you know, you can see lots of pictures in that image. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the house anyway, on the right not... seems to be a bit overpowering. The what? The house on the right seems to be. A oh bit yes. Yeah, you need to chop that off. Yeah. And and the shed. And the shed. That's my shed. <laughs> and he's knocking down immediately. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my lot. Right. Okay, right. Alan. <laughs> We've got Terry now, have we? Um, firstly, I, I've got some sound in mind. How do I add sound into the um, uh, something down on the left hand side when I do sharing, isn't it? I don't uh, know. It may well try it coming through first, and if not, go to the microphone on the extreme left hand side and then say system sound. Okay, I'll see, but I'll see how it comes up then. Right. Mm. Ah, uh, yeah, share sound. PowerPoint, I One. see. That's F5 or something, don't you? Oh, slideshow, that'll do. Right. So my first one um, is rain falling, and it will be in a minute. Um, I, when we ran out for a walk, I had lots of ideas of um, trying to do things by um, people falling or things falling and making sequences. But the day after we went out for the walk on the Saturday, it was absolutely tipping it down with rain. And I thought, yeah. well, let's try some rain shots, but I haven't really done before. Um, I, some of them I took, if I took them against um, a dark background, I didn't get good effect from the, the rainfall in itself. But when I got, went against a light background, I feel I got better. So we'll see the first one. So I took that at 1 500th, an F8. So that's taken um, across my garden. Um, I had to put my camera onto um, tripod to get the angles I wanted. The first shot I took, um, I didn't quite get the angles, but when I could see the um, rain coming down a diagonal and the diagonal of the washing line, I thought the two went together, diagonal yeah. one way, diagonal another way. Your ISO was quite high, wasn't it? 2,500? Um, yes. 
How far, how far away were you from the washing line, roughly? Um, about 30, 20 foot. Because oh, the background's nice and blurred, which is obviously what you wanted. And I, but you're at F8, so I would have thought yeah, you I have it in. struggled to get it. On the bottom right hand corner, you can see a, a slight light patch. I had mm. to crop out a bush oh, right. um, to get, uh, otherwise that would have been intrusive. Yeah, mm. it no, it's good. good. It does like look it. grainy, which I suppose is because of the ISO you were using. Um, well, usually on two far, uh, 2,500, it's not always as that grainy. But the thing I liked about it was in all the raindrops, you can see a house at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> More better when you um, can pull it right up close. But as Richard had, they're, they're not totally in focus. But um, my main aim was to get the washing line and to get the rain coming down at the um, diagonal. What a very good effort. Next one. Um, the week afterwards, um, after I'd seen that rain, I thought, well, let's let's keep the theme as water. <clears throat> and I went down to the New Forest um, uh, Water Park oh, yeah. and spent four hours down there and took 600 shots <laughs> and um, with the aim of getting people falling off their wakeboards. And you'll see some of the effects. So I'm shooting at a thousandth of a second, F8, um, with a 100 to 400 lens, um, some at usually between about the 100 and 150. Um, I was shooting in continuous on either my high continuous at 10 shots a second or my lower continuous at four and a half shots a second. And then I put a sequence together Ooh. in Windows Movie Maker, but I was a bit upset because when I got the sequence, um, the person in the uh, didn't look in focus. So you'll see the sequence, and then I've put one of the um, shots later on to show that they were in focus. So yeah, okay. if I could, that's my starting shot, and I took about ten shots. So you'll see. You should see movement. And then you'll see him falling in a minute. But that doesn't look in focus, but we'll see that it actually is. He's lost his um he's lost his grip there, so he's fallen in. Yeah. Flash down. <laughs> and that's actually one crop shot from that sequence. That's good. Just to show it is actually in focus. Very good, yes. Now, the next one, I'm hoping that um, we might get some sound, but I don't know. Um, this is another one with raindrops. And <clears throat> I was trying to get raindrops dropping off of something, much like I think it was, was it one of Rogers? Um, so I was shooting against a dark background, 1,750th, the ISO 25600, because it was very, very dark that afternoon. Um, so I actually put the shots through Topaz Denoise to get rid of some of the noise um, after I'd um, had a go at it with Lightroom as well. So you'll be able to see the difference in this shot and the earlier shot where you've got one against the light background and one against the dark background. So that's, um, I managed to get the raindrops fall in. Um, and does this remind anybody of uh, any yes. song? Yes, we'll, we'll all burst into song in a minute. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Uh, now just watch it carefully. Raindrops are falling on my head. Just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed Nutson seems to fit Those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling So I just did me some talking to the sun And I said I didn't like the way he got things done Sleeping on the job are falling on my head, they keep falling, but there's one thing I know. I'm 
brilliant, <laughs> brilliant, <laughs> amazing. Well That's done. The best the best best. Um, when I took the original shots, I took two shots um, so that I got the drops coming off of the um, uh, thing on the left hand side, and I got the drops coming off of Camellia, and then I I did a, a selection of the shots and started moving a few round and then did a bit of blurring so that they didn't look all the same. So a couple of additional images that I took at the water park as well, um, shot at, this first one is 1800 F8 ISO 250. Light was pretty good that afternoon. Um, single shot AF continuous. And this is one guy that didn't fall, although it, it looks like he might've done. Do you have to pay to go in there if you're not doing anything? No, you can, you can go in there as long as you don't take any food and use their cafe. Um, you can get some good shots of them. Um, just keep an eye on their website to see what's going on, because if they put down um, slow rotation, um, they're going around very slow practicing. So you need another time when they're going around at higher speed. Um, they're doing about 20 miles an hour when... Uh, yeah, they yeah. go round on the track. So um, where, where is it, Terry? Um, it's as you go down to uh, Ringwood. Yeah. Get past. Um, oh, go oh, right down to Fording Bridge. You got to go yeah. past. Yeah, you got to go past Fording Bridge. Yeah. It's on so the right hand side. Right hand side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So um, here's another, one, another wake border. Um, shot at 112 50th. Yeah, I know. That. Again, single shot AF continuous. Yes. Now, when they go around, they're going around almost in uh, an ellipse and um, they come up to the top. And some of the better ones are sort of going over at an angle. And you can see the water here. He's come round. Um, and out of my 640 shots, I, I saved about 130 and something like 50 of them are single shot like this, where I managed to get them um, put in the water up into the air. And I'm, I'm quite pleased with a lot of them. This one in particular, I'm pleased also with the reflection in the water, as well as trying to get the speed right to get the... Um, the water droplets up in the air. Yes, well, that's superb. What, what's towing him? Um, he's up, uh, well, you've, you've got an overhead track which the, um, uh, the rains come down to and they, they come off of a jetty and they pick up one of the, um, how do I go back? I'm go back that way. Right, he, this, um, rope is on an aerial ropeway okay. so he's going to hold on to that and somewhere over to the, the left hand side there's a jetty so as this um, rope is running round um, it comes into the side they grab it go up into the water then they start going up over the jumps which some of them you saw in, in one of the earlier sequences and they go round and some of the jumps are quite a way away, but um, I was hoping to get them going over the top of the um, far jump, which is the highest one, and falling off. But they um, they didn't seem to want to fall off that one, but they thought they were falling off the one which was actually nearest to me. It's um, it's quite entertaining. Um, you, they've got a nice cafe down there that you can just sit and watch things going on. Um, and uh, in the summer months where... Um, the kids are off on holiday on the opposite side. They've got like um, uh, bouncy castle things in the water and you can go over there and play on them for hours and hours and hours. And as well as this track walk uh, trackway that goes right the way around, they've got a practice one to the left hand side where it only goes round in a small ellipse and you can stand there and watch them um, practice in their jumps and all that sort of thing. And again, I, I did some shots on that and I actually got one published in the um, Salisbury Journal, not this week, but was it last week or the week before? So I got one of those published. 
Very good. Very so that's that's my lot. Harry, go to the first one of those. Of the, oh, sorry, you, you, you've gone now. Don't worry. So it's, it's only a small point. Don't worry. Did yeah, come on. No, no, I was going to say, going to the first picture that you have, those two, um, it looked as if the, I, d I don't know whether it's the depth of field, but the, 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 the man looked sharp, but his feet, I don't know whether they were... Broken. Yes, you're right. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, when you home in on it, um, although the, the depth of field was, um, I was using F8, um, I'm not, I, I would have thought that it would have all been in focus, but you're quite right, the head is in focus. Yeah, um, most of his body is, and you start tailing away to his wakeboard. Maybe the feet were moving faster. Yes. He rotated. Yes. Sorry about that. Just <laughs> no, no, uh, well spotted. Um, you, you have to look very closely to actually spot that, but um, uh, I, I, it must be the speed, that, as you say, of rotation of how he's rotating, and also the um, forward movement. So maybe if I'd have gone up to um, 12 50th um, and perhaps F11, I may well not have got that effect. Okay, thank you. So I, what's, what's the difference between a wakeboard and water skiing? Um, a wakeboard is um, like a skateboard. A water right. ski and you have two of them on your feet. Well, you can so, have one. You can do it one. One. Yeah, as well. and the wakeboard is about. Um, so it's much wider. It's wide by about six foot long, and yeah. the skis obviously are like uh, much like um, uh, skis for going down snow slopes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Lovely. Well, we learned something there. Now, shall we move on to Diana's um, picture? Uh, pictures. She's got two of them. Hopefully you should see <laughs> see that one already. Yes. Yeah. She calls it, she calls that one as light as a falling feather, yeah. which I thought was. And if you notice the, yeah. the in the background there, I hope. So I thought that was beautifully vignetted and everything. She must have worked quite hard on that. Um, she sent it to me from her uh, Apple computer. And like you, David, it comes embedded in my email. And in this particular case, it, instead of uh, this was tw this is 1280 high at the moment. In her case, it was about 5000 high. I <laughs> couldn't fit it on the screen at all. Anyway, there is that one. And then the other one with it when it doesn't work, does it? Of course, it's always the same with this thing. You have to stop it doing it and then come back here with that one. Yes, she did this one as well of snow falling i think she calls it yes um so i've got the yes i haven't really looked at it myself but i thought it was quite clever with birds flying through and all sorts any comments on that didn't take it during the last month presumably she lives in australia don't forget <laughs> of course yes sorry yeah um no i don't think she took it this last month I don't know when she did it. Um, it's got the 29th of the 10th on there, but that's, that's because I've changed it and put it in here. So it's the date I did it. That's today, isn't it? Yes. So I don't know um, when she took it, but we're puzzled about the black section mm. at the top there. It's a bit odd, that, isn't it? Branch of the tree, we think. Oh, yes, it could be, couldn't it? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Right. So that's that one. And the other one was the feather. So that's all she's all she sent us, but um, well worthy, I think, of falling. Don't you think? Yeah. Fits in the fits in the category. Why doesn't it work? Yeah. Come on, <laughs> stop sharing. Right. Okay. Right. It's now eleven o'clock or just gone. Would you like a little break? For yes, ten, yes, five, ten minutes. <laughs> Comfort stop. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll reconvene. That's a good word. Uh, at eleven fifteen. All right. Are we talking about engravings or whatever in wood and stone? Well, or I think I think if we stuck to wood, it would be better, wouldn't it? 
Um, it's still got to get the lighting right, and that's the key to it. And grazing light is the key to this, I guess. So, um, yes, it's not that hard to do. Um, well, uh, got all coins have got engravings on, after all, haven't they? So any coin would do. Yeah, but they're not made of wood. No, that's what I'm saying. You said, did it have to be wood or stone? Well, I'm saying it would, please. All is right. It? I'm yes. restricting it to wood. And that will make it more difficult, perhaps, for you to find or not. Um, but there are <laughs> plenty of examples of intricate uh, engravings in wood. And that's the key to it, in intricate, I think, and, and side lighting. So that it may be simple to photograph Stan, but it's not so simple to find the... You're, you're photographing somebody else's art. I understand lighting. Yeah, yeah, all uh, right, all right, all right. This is, a, this is not, a, it's not a camera club. We're not trying to make art. We're trying to uh, learn how to do photographs. And to find these objects is going to be the interesting bit for you all. They're not that simple to find. They're not everywhere in life. Um, so you'll have to find out where to go and find these things. Museums, obviously, places for that sort of thing, I guess, in general. Are we still talking about just three, Peter, and two of something else? Yeah, I think that sounds reasonable, yes. It worked out quite well today, although <laughs> a lot of people didn't put the, didn't stick to quite to the rules, but... I think it that works much better. Well, it lasted about one hour, didn't it? And that worked out very well, um, I thought. Okay, so uh, does anyone want to come to Stratford Subcastle Church? Yeah, Are you sure it's open, Peter? Because the last time I tried to get there, it was oh. all locked up. Oh, really? Oh, well, I, I must have, I don't know. Um, but if it, if it isn't, then we'll go somewhere else. <laughs> it's quite simple, I suppose. But the problem with Trafford Subcastle is there's no real place to have a, a, no pub nearby.